Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Girls Inc. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own cloud guide. All you'll need for this activity is a blue sheet of paper, a black marker, some glue, and cotton balls. Let's get started. Although there are many types of clouds in our sky, today we will be focusing on five. Each cloud has its own unique look and location in the sky. We will be learning about three of the categories today. The first category are your high clouds. These clouds are located above 18,000 feet from the ground. The first is called a cirrus cloud. These clouds are thin, wispy clouds blown in high winds into long streams. Cirrus clouds are usually white in color and indicate that there is going to be a change in weather soon. With your blue sheet of paper laying landscape in front of you, you'll be adding your first cloud. The serious cloud will be placed at the top of your paper at the center, right here. Unroll one of your cotton balls, like this. Once you have it unrolled, you're going to split it into three sections by pulling it, it long ways down. Here's one, two, and three. Using your glue bottle, you're gonna draw your wispy shaped clouds on your paper, like so. And now, just add your glue, your cotton ball. We will be labeling our clouds after all of our glue has dried. This is what your serious cloud should look like. The next cloud, also categorized as a high cloud, will be the serious cumulus cloud. These clouds are small rounded white puffs that appear in long rows. The small ripples sometimes resemble the scale of a fish. Serial cumulus clouds are usually seen in the winter and indicate fair but cold weather. We will be placing our serious cumulus cloud in the upper right portion of our paper. Rolling out a cotton ball, separate it into four pieces. So once you have your cotton ball rolled out, you can just pull it into four different pieces. You may not need to use the whole cotton ball for this cloud, um, so I'm going to use just one of the four pieces, and maybe a second one if I decide I want to use it. So using your glue bottle, put a thin layer of glue in a zigzag formation, and then go ahead and place one of your four sections. If you want to add more, go ahead and use a second session. Second section. Here's what your serious cumulus cloud will look like. Moving on to middle clouds. Middle clouds can be anywhere in the sky between 6,500 feet from the ground to 18,000 18, feet. Also, cumulus clouds appear as gray, puffy masses, usually forming in groups and indicate possible late afternoon thunderstorms. Also, cumulus clouds will be in the middle of your paper. Unrolling one cotton ball, gently stretch the cotton ball, making sure not to go too far as we don't want to see much blue underneath our cotton ball. Since since also cumulus clouds form in groups, feel free to unroll out a second cotton ball and place it near your first, but make sure there is a separation between so that way it looks like two different formations. second cloud just below it. Here you have your alto cumulus clouds. We will be adding some color to these clouds after the glue has dried. 
along with our titles. Our last cloud is the cumulus cloud. These clouds are puffy clouds that look like pieces of floating cotton. The base of, the, of each of these clouds is flat, and the top of each of these clouds has rounded towers. Cumulus clouds indicate fair weather. Next, we have our lower clouds. Lower clouds like the nimbostratus and cumulus clouds can be found 6,500 feet or lower in the sky. Nimulus stratus, stratus clouds are dark gray and have a wet looking cloudy layer. These clouds bring precipitation resulting in continuous light rain or snow. Using five or six cotton balls, start by loosening the, loosening the cotton ball out, but do not unroll it or separate it too much. Pulling at either side gently, stretch out the cotton ball to give it some fluff. You'll do this with all six of your cotton balls. Placing glue on the bottom left-hand side of your paper, form two lines. Now add three on top and three below. Again, we'll be adding color to the, to the bottom of these cotton balls as soon as the glue dries. Our last cloud is the cumulus cloud. These clouds are puffy clouds that look like pieces of floating cotton. The base of each cloud is flat and the top of each cloud has rounded towers. Cumulus clouds indicate fair weather. Using three cotton balls, gently pull the tops of the cotton ball to form a fluffy top but keeping the base of it flat. Add your three clouds on the bottom right hand corner of your paper. And here you have your cumulus clouds. Once your glue has dried, it is now time to add some color to your clouds. Your alto cumulus clouds placed in the middle of your paper will need a little color. Using your black marker, color in a little bit of the clouds. In the sky, they will appear more gray than black, but all I had was black, so we're gonna make do with that. Now that your alto cumulus clouds are colored in, let's move on to our nimbo stratus clouds. Our nimbo stratus clouds are, are the clouds on our bottom left-hand side of our paper. Coloring in as much as you can at the clouds, we're going to be giving it that wet storm look like. And there you have our alto cumulus cloud and our nimbus clouds. Here we have our alto cumulus clouds all colored in as well as in our nimbo shadows clouds all colored in. Now go ahead and add your layers. I added my 18,000 feet and higher on the side, my middle and my low to indicate where the clouds fall in each of the layers. I also labeled my, my clouds. Here we have the Sirius, here we have Sirius Cumulus, the Alto Cumulus, the Nimbo Stratus, and the Cumulus Clouds. Thanks for joining us today and I hope you had a good time.